What's up guys, this is Crypto with James talking to you today about brain trust. Now brain trust is a very, very interesting idea. I don't actually think long term it's going to make money in terms of the coin and I'll explain why in this video. Um, but the concept is good and it's sound. I just don't think with the coin itself will do much. Um, but I will explain that. Um, also, Binance FTX war of words is starting to uh, ramp up. Kevin O'Leary's uh, made a big claim against Binance, which is uh, interesting. It's going to a bit of a rumor mill sort of news uh, piece, but I want to cover that in this video as well. It's quite entertaining. So you guys might enjoy this. Uh, before I get into it, though, guys, if you are new to the channel, you don't know me, you don't know why you should listen to me, all fair. These are the first 26 coins I spoke about on this channel. They were actually the first 26 coins I owned when I made the channel, even though I've been in the market for eight years or so. Had you put in just 100 bucks into each of these coins when I released videos about them, and you ignored them for two years, did everything wrong as an investor, it's still been profitable, like 9.2K, doing everything wrong, because they were good picks. But if you had done the right thing, and if you'd have sold these coins last year like I did, when the markets flew, just a hundred bucks into each of those coins, a total investment of $2,600 would have netted you a profit of 123 grand. It's a big, big difference between doing the right thing and the wrong thing. As I said, I sold these off. These are not the coins I own. If you want to see my current portfolio, you can go to copymycrypto.com. On that site, like I say, I share my portfolio. Uh, the members are informed anytime I buy or sell a coin. Uh, I release videos on a daily basis talking about the markets if that interests you. Many people just go on the site to see what I'm holding and copy along. Um, we have tutorials set up so that anyone that's brand new to crypto can learn and get into crypto. These are the same tutorials I send friends and family. Um, and like, guys, there's a history of success here. I was the only YouTuber in 2020 talking about Phantom. I did a Udemy course dedicated to Phantom saying this would 100x or more. No one else was saying that. It did a 677x. So if you'd have put in a grand, you'd been able to buy a house. If you put in two grand, you'd have been a millionaire. I'll find another phantom, but I won't do a Udemy course like last time. I will go onto the site and tell the members all about it, what percentage of my money I'm putting in, what I think it can do. If you want to make those kind of gains, the life-changing gains, then go read the site. And remember, everything on the site is verifiable because it's all on the YouTube histories and you can go through that as well. Um, like I said, copymycrypto.com. Go check it out, guys. Right, Brain Trust. Priced at 93 cents, basically. 120 million market cap. I just, it's a very clever idea. And it's backed by Coinbase Ventures, so they obviously have a strong belief in it. And there's a lot to like. Brain Trust is a decentralized talent network that connects uh, skilled, vetted knowledge workers with the world's lead, leading companies. So it's a talent pool. It's a way to access jobs. Access the world's best jobs by effectively sharing what your talent is. Um, and, you know, they work at, like big, big, big Fortune 500 companies. Some of the biggest in the world are partnered with Brain Trust. You know, NASA, Nestle, Walmart, Deloitte. Um, Porsche, Wayfair, I'm sure there's more as well. Um, Goldman Sachs, Nike. You know, these are, these are big boys. They're massive companies. You've got to respect that. Got to respect that. Um, and look, it's been utilized by over 50,000 community members. So again, really good sign, you know, heavily, or certainly being used. Um, but right now, for me, I don't see the long-term value in the token. And I'll explain why. So Brain Trust has three functions. It's governance. So the, the Brain Trust token holders can discuss ideas for improvements, uh, propose changes, and vote on governance proposals. That's standard. You know, you do expect that with but that's pretty much the case with the majority of cryptos out there these days. Um is bid staking as well. So in a competitive market, talent may stake tokens to stand out, offering their tokens as collateral, which they would lose if they fail to deliver on the contract um, that they win. 
Clients can also stake tokens which go to qualified applicants. If the client doesn't go forward, with, uh, if the clients don't go forward with the job, uh, which encourages talent to apply, knowing they will be compensated for their time, the time they spend crafting their proposal. Token bid staking helps unstick or reduce friction in the network, keeps it more transparent by addressing mismatches of supply and demand. Tokens are also expected to be redeemable for special perks offered by other community participants exclusive to the Brain Trust community. These can be free and discounted software, products, career resources. Users can also earn tokens by taking courses on Brain Trust Academy, which is an independent community run organization. So you can earn while you learn. I like that, right? Um, and in decentralized, uh, in their DeFi systems, liquidity providers obviously add liquidity to the market by setting the initial price and equal uh, supply of assets. Um, again, this is exactly what you would expect with any, well, in, in terms of adding liquidity, that's what you do. Now, fundamentally, my concern with this is I don't think the, the token's necessary. I understand that the token, the, like the, the, effectively the whole product, everything about Brain Trust is built around the token. But it's not actually necessary. Like we have talent websites all over the world. You know, you've got things like Fiverr out there. You've got, you know, tons and tons and tons and tons of these massive sort of websites where people offer services. Now, I understand that there's a vetting process with knowledge workers here. So that's a little better because then you've effectively got um, stronger trust in, in the people that you're deciding if they're good enough to work or do a job for you. But the token itself isn't necessary. Like this whole premise can be done and is done all over the world without a crypto. And whilst I like it as a concept and whilst I like it as essential, like I think providing different ways for people to earn in a digital age is always going to be something that garners interest and long term can be a real positive. I don't see this ending up with hundreds of thousands of really exceptional knowledge workers. I don't see long term that there's going to be enough work put through Brain Trust for the overall business to continue growing. You know, for Brain Trust to continue to grow, they need to bring in new members, they need to bring in new companies. So they need to advertise really well and effectively, which I've not seen evidence of. Um, what I do like is they have a grants program. I've always talked about grants program. Um, that is always a good sign because, you know, that means that you've got uh, incentivization for developers to come and build, whether it's engineers, product designers, or product managers to make contributions. Uh, you've got educator grants for anyone who wants to build scalable systems. You've got ambassador grants for those who want to grow Brain Trust brand through content, visual design, social advocacy, and analytics. Now, obviously, these are big pluses, and this is what you should be doing. Um, but this was created a year ago, and in spite of that, I've seen very little evidence of um, Brain Trust being seen. And that's my concern, is fundamentally, I think this is a business that doesn't require a crypto at all. I think it's a great idea. I think having, uh, you know, an, an, any different network of talent is only ever a good thing. But I don't think a crypto is necessary here to run this website. I think it's a crypto that's been created and designed arbitrarily to fit a, and then a business model has been made to fit around this. Now, I, I'm not necessarily saying that this is going to die a death or anything, but I don't think in terms of a 
value proposition. I don't think it's there. I don't see this running up to, you know, 20 bucks or 30 bucks or anything like that because A, the user base isn't big enough to justify, you know, even if it's $10, that's a 1.2, well, 1.3 billion market cap. So is it worth 1.3 billion? 50,000 users. Yeah, you can make the argument that there's some massive companies and there are, I mean, these are beasts, beast companies that are utilizing brain trust, but how many of them, what are the jobs? What's the quality of the job? You know, are they just, are these menial tasks? I don't, we don't know. Um, and I can't see a justification for this doing a huge price run particularly given, you know, there's still 48% of the supply to come out. So as the supply comes out, you know, the early investors are going to dump. So if the early investors can dump on it, the price is going to drop a lot more. Can it run back up to 10? Maybe, maybe it can just off of the basis of a bull cycle cryptos that don't necessarily have value run. And I'm not saying that brain trust doesn't have value. I'm just not sure it's i'm just not sure the crypto in and of itself is necessary i just don't doesn't doesn't make sense to me that, that you would require a crypto to do this you could just run the exact same website without a crypto um and have the business own the creators instead of having a decentralized network where everyone votes you just have a leadership that make the decisions um especially if you've managed to persuade some of these big companies to use you you need leadership there to to continue working with them and i don't think and that's not in place effectively so i don't know i'm not, I'm, I'm i'm very very skeptical about this one very skeptical because i fundamentally don't see the the necessity for the crypto but what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below if you know about brain trust what do you think do you think the crypto is necessary do you think there's the potential for this to run? I mean, it's launched at 32 bucks, basically. Do you think it can run up to 32 bucks? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're a returning viewer, hit the subscribe button. My videos will make you money. You do not want to miss them. Um, and guys, if you want to see the coins I own right now that are in my portfolio, Brain Trust is not one of them, um, then go to uh, copymycrypto.com. On the site, I share with the members anytime I buy or sell a coin. I release videos on a daily basis talking about the markets. That is, that's of massive interest to a number of the members. A lot of them just want to copy along to the portfolio, which obviously people can do. I have a history of success here. Again, I will point out no one in 2020, no one was talking about Phantom. I designed and created an entire Udemy course about Phantom, explaining the many reasons I believed it would 100X or more. I was very right about that and I will find another phantom and when I do the members are going to find out about it. So if you want to make those kind of gains, you want to make those kind of profits, then you have to go read the site and do remember everything on the site you can check on the YouTube channel history as well. It's all there for everyone to see. Uh, the link's on screen guys. And last bit, oh god this, this, Let's just get rid of that, just consent quickly because I want to get on with this. Binance deliberately caused FTX's collapse. The star of Shark Tank, Kevin O'Leary, had some strong words for the exchange at the FTX hearing in the US Senate yesterday. Big, ballsy words, I would even, I would go as far as to say. Um, although I don't know why this page isn't scrolling. Oh my God. That was weird. Right, <laughs> so... Um, Yes, Kevin O'Leary slammed, why, why? Kevin O'Leary slammed crypto exchange Binance at the Senate hearing. He said Binance is a massive unregulated monopoly now. FTX, once one of the biggest large, uh, you know, biggest digital assets in the world, uh, exchanges on the planet, collapsed spectacularly. The title of uh, the hearing yesterday was Crypto Crash, why the FTX bubble burst and the harm to customers. O'Leary, who was heavily invested in FTX and was paid by them. I have an opinion, not the records. One put the other out of business intentionally. Um, he said, 
and obviously I like I've covered this on the channel I did actually point out CZ's behavior did scream I'm trying to crash FTX I mean it really did scream I'm trying to crash FTX um it was a surreal thing where he came out and said oh you know we're gonna stop uh we're gonna liquidate all our holdings in FTT and then all of a sudden oh we're gonna FTX are struggling with bankruptcy we're gonna save them and then all of a sudden after doing our due diligence we're going to uh we're pulling out of the deal everything sort of stacked as though you know he, he did it did feel like he was attacking FTX however you know we know that um the FTX were handling money poorly like it was fraudulent FTX uh in fact a senator Cynthia Loomis uh told the hearing that it was time to separate digital assets from corrupt organizations FTX is good old-fashioned fraud mismanagement failure of people inadequate controls is what's on trial we need to regulate this business and lay digital assets on top of our existing financial frameworks now I think they do I think there is an element of we need regulation I would not necessarily suggest uh, implementing on top of the current financial frameworks not not least of which because the SEC have royally screwed up in multiple different arenas not least of which is the Howey test um, and how that applies to crypto so it's all a bit of a mess and yeah Kevin O'Leary Kevin O'Leary is upset because he got burned guess what a lot of people got burned the difference is, is he's going to be fine and uh, there'll be a lot of people that aren't and uh, I don't think that he is necessarily the person to be listening to in this current uh, climate um, but there is, does need to be an investigation and someone needs to go to prison because that was terrible uh, that FTX situation and it will and again a quick reminder to everyone your funds shouldn't be on exchanges be safe no exchange is too big to fail I include Binance in that nothing is too big to fail and if they fail and they're holding your stuff you're screwed so just be safe out there guys anyway that's it for me take it easy bye bye